guess question number four is kind of a follow-on from three in that regard. It's really a gas company, a pipeline company, and not the individual landowner be responsible for maintaining and covering any erosion that may occur over the pipeline to ensure that the pipeline remains at the maximum or I guess minimum required depth. Company will maintain the right of way, you know, except obviously in agricultural areas where it's maintained by the farmer. Basically, it's nothing to maintain to actually rotate the crop. But we'll we'll mow the right of way, maintain the right of way once every two or three years, just depending on what the growth is and how big it's growing. But we do, per DOT, have to maintain our own right of way. Um, should erosion occur, we are responsible for it. We will come and fix it if there's something related to construction or or, or something of that nature that we need to come back and repair. We will come back and repair it. Uh, you know, it, and kind of touching back on the farming activities we plan or sign based on our discussions with the landowners. Uh, now, it, one thing I want to mention about the farming practices, you know, I don't know how much land leveling y'all do around here, but if, if there was need some land leveling or something like that, we would need to work with the landowner to make sure they do not remove, you know, get into a pipe or that kind of stuff. But, you know, all those issues will be addressed either in operations, construction, or so when you periodically uh, inspect the right away? Yes, sir. We, it, we have an aerial patrol. It'll be once a week. We have a foot patrol that's once a year. Um, you know, as far as the interior of the line, inside of the actual pipe itself, we run an ILI tool, which is inline inspection tools every so often. It's <coughs> corrosion and it's kind of metal loss for that, so that's actually mandated by DOT. Thank you. Question number five.